Hi guys. Hello. It's your favorite. Not really. It's your local black girl here. Back at it again. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. Hi guys, it's your favorite black <laughs> It's Afro Puffy back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about my love of music and also having a pretty much permanent feeling like I have a permanent writer's block it's painful <laughs> I have loved music since I was a child it's always brought me comfort as soon as I learned what wireless headphones was like I I saved as much money as I could to get them just so I could block out the rest of the world it it was comforting to block out all the voices, all the noises, and quiet the thoughts in my head. And I loved the surround sound feeling of my favorite songs just enveloping me, just washing over me. And to have access to that 24-7 was like a dream. It was miraculous. And I still, it's still one of my treasured possessions to this day. Here they are, Skull Candy Crushers, wireless. They come with wires, but they have a adjustable base right here. I'm telling you, if you are looking for wireless headphones, not sponsored, these are definitely a good option. How cute these are. Oh, so oh. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. You see them? These are the little cookies that I got at the little pop-up Japanese street festival in DC the other day. This is what the packaging looks like. It's super, super cute. I pretty much demolished the rest, but how adorable is this, you guys? They're good. It tastes like sweet vanilla animal crackers back to the subject i'm sorry i listen to a variety of music that comforts me like talking about favorite artists we can talk about in another video but i'm definitely a huge fan of japanese rock k-pop k-nd classical um have you heard studio um ghibli's um joe hisaichi like a1 like absolutely a1 um the steven universe soundtracks i absolutely adore and a whole other ball of things involving french music and bollywood music and it's just it's all over the place but i pretty much listen to almost just about everything and it brings me a lot of joy and it makes me happy it helps me block out any negative thoughts it makes me feel better when i'm depressed it makes me feel happy happier when i'm already overjoyed so it it works both ways if you're feeling overjoyed and you want to expand that i listen to music if i am absolutely done with the world i listen to music and it comforts me both ways so um yeah but imagine after listening to music for years and years and being a huge fan of different types of music from a whole different bunch of platforms and actually going to a few concerts and hearing these inspiring artists write their amazing songs and these songs sound unique in their own way trying to write um songs and finding out that you have trouble writing music 
I remember like years ago, I was, I was trying to do it before and it was, I was having a lot of trouble getting the keys to sound the way that I wanted to. I listen to a lot of indie, so a lot of the times I hear a lot of intricate melodies. Especially when I listen to classical and they go way off and it's all elaborate, and beautiful and gorgeous and trying to incorporate that myself, it was sounding a lot more basic than I wanted it to. I play by ear. A lot of the times I'd be playing stuff and then I would hear other songs and be like... <laughs> That's the melody to so-and-so, and every time I thought I would have something, it would be the melody to another song. There's only but so many scales and combinations when it comes to playing music, but I've only used the piano. It's not like I added in drums or guitar or anything like a band does. It would just be the piano. And that would be the benefit in being in the studio or having a band where you're using multiple instruments. When you have limited experience and you're just playing on the piano, it might make things a bit more difficult, which I feel like was the case for myself. <laughs> but when it's been going on for years and you want to be just like the artists that inspire you, that write about all their experiences and they come up with these songs that make you smile and make you cry and you're just absolutely in shock that it feels like they're talking about you. It's so relatable that it's crazy and you want to be just like that. But it's hard to come up with the right words. It's hard to come out as poetic and not corny. It's hard to come up with intricate melodies that you know you'll like. It's hard to do it in general and then you feel like a failure and just wonder am I just am I just meant to be a music enthusiast? I don't know that that might be the case for me. I I really hope not. I'm documenting this now because at the moment I told one of my coworkers that I write music, which is not a lie. I do have a few songs that I wrote in the past and I still like to consider myself a songwriter and she wants me, she wants me to write her a song and I'm trying to give myself a deadline because I don't want it to drag on and on and then she thinks that I'm not legit. And I've come up with something, I've come up with a, a melody so far, I just need to be able to come up with words. Here's to hoping, I'm just documenting this to show you, to show everyone out there. I, I, I'm curious to see if, if there's anyone like me out there that is a music enthusiast, that loves music, that adores music, and wants to write, wants to be in the music industry and just feels stuck. Not just a moment of days or a week that you're feeling stuck, just stuck in general. Feeling like you can't write music, feeling like you can't come up with beautiful melodies, feeling like you can't write proper lyrics that people will actually want to listen to and enjoy, feeling like you can't be like the artists that you absolutely love. If you're just meant to be basic. <laughs> I love music and it's hard for me to write music. How ironic is that? Thankfully I'm not in tears right now because it's it's very frustrating, but I I am believing I'm believing in God that he's going to help me get through this because honestly there have been many moments that I wanted to that I wanted to give up. There was a moment in time where I hadn't touched the piano in months. And the fact that I'm even trying to write again, even before my coworker asked me to write something for her. 
just at the fact that I wanted to see how far I could go if I just kept going even if it felt like I wasn't getting anywhere because I want to know I want to know my true potential even if it feels like I'm getting nowhere right now I'm going to continue praying and if anyone out there is in the same situation as me or something similar maybe in a different subject we're not going to give up we we have to keep going and here's to hoping here is to hoping that we actually get somewhere there's a reason for everything even if we don't understand it at the moment and just have to keep that in mind so the next time i put my hands on the keys the next time that i actually play out my music i'll be not only proud of it but amazed at what's coming out of my mouth what's coming out of my mind and heart because it's all in there i know it is it's just kind of stuffed up right now i just need help expressing it and i pray to god that it comes out in a way that I can be proud of, in a way that I can be more than happy to say that this is my music and to keep going with that. There's so many artists that have come up with all these beautiful songs and they're still going. The inspiration is still flowing. It's still flowing and that's what I need for myself. Maybe it's a lack of inspiration lack of motivation at times i doubt my own creativity but i'm documenting this now because i know i was meant to be in the music industry and this is just a bump in the road and i want to let myself everyone else out there and god himself know that i am going to get through this that was my little rant for now um make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Leave a comment down below. That would make me so encouraged, so happy. I would love to hear from you guys. I know I don't have much of an audience yet, but we are in the works and I am going to reach out to more and more people as I post. And I will make sure to keep going so that I can have the chance to meet my potential fans and viewers and I look forward to meeting you all. Okay, bye. No one got to know you got deep suri. Bad I got to know you got deep suri. Nege no tan de bodai puji. No ege no mi ochi ni buni.